really intrigued, you know, by the museum. And we get in and we round the corner and then boom, there's this t-shirt. And the first thing it like really startled him, the guy that I was with, and he was like, whoa, are we safe? Spengler <laughs> said she reminded her oh guests the theme is Judge Parker, famously known as the hanging judge back in his day in the 1800s. Still, I can say that it kind of was off-putting because it does make you uncomfortable, you know, seeing images of a noose and things like that, just if you're not aware of what the t-shirt meant. So she took a picture and posted it on social media. And I was not expecting the reaction that I got. Like, there was a lot of people that were just blatantly outraged. There were some people that, you know, supported it 100%. Um, there were some people that were angry with me for even posting it. The museum executive director says in the 1950s, the courtroom and gallows were restored and opened as a museum. Symbols of Judge Parker, the hanging judge, the noose, the gallows, began to be used to promote tourism. The t-shirt itself was sold in the 1970s and 80s, but the t-shirt is not being sold now. That shirt is an artifact. It's part of our uh, In the Shadow of the Gallows exhibit. Since the post, the exhibit has been taken down. It has received a lot of attention. As I said, it's been here since 1998. It's time for it to rest. I was a bit concerned that, you know, somebody might even take it, and it may be the only one like it in existence. You know, if it would have been taken and displayed with the rest of the artifacts of the museum, given a history of what the T-shirt meant and why it was here, I think maybe it wouldn't have come across so offensive. Craig Cannon, 4029 News.